It's mid-morning in Staten Island, New York, and some locals have gathered for coffee and breakfast at Dominic's Bakery and Cafe. Uh, yeah. Can I get a glass of water, please? Thank you. A young boy sits alone, busy with his schoolwork. Soon, someone joins him and draws a lot of attention. Hi. Hi. Oh, sorry I'm late. Are you waiting for me long? It's okay. Everyone wonders the same thing. Who is she? Where are we? Okay, we're at this one right here. 4.5. What are you doing? Can you help me out with this? Of course, that's what I'm here for. I'm your tutors. That's right, his tutor. And studying isn't the primary thought on her mind. Zach, the young boy, and his tutor are both actors we've hired. I haven't done one problem yet. You can't see my bra on this, can you? It's so embarrassing. We just start to focus on this. I'm in summer school for a reason. I don't pass math. I'm Zach, just... will you stop stressing out? My God! Stress out so much for a 15-year-old. It's a hot-button issue that continues to attract headlines a decade after that infamous case of Mary Kay Letourneau. That Seattle teacher whose affair with a sixth grader sent her to prison. And Deborah LaFay, who pled guilty to statutory rape for having sex with her 14-year-old student. Today, entire websites track hundreds of alleged cases of female educators turned predators. Back in the restaurant, our hidden cameras are rolling. And this kind of extracurricular activity looks like more than our ninth grader bargained for. This one right here. Is that wrong? His tutor gets up for a closer look. No, that's right. Oh no, I got some water on my shirt. Some patrons are turned off by what they hear. Oh my god, you smell so good. And then the tutor turns seductress. Excuse me, are you his tutor? Yes, I am. A minute later... Let's go, let's go. When the tutor says she wants to continue the lesson at her house, it's too much for this grandmother. Go home. Go home. Okay. I can't go home. I don't have a ride. My mom's at work and... I'll give you a Well, how do you think you're going to pass the test? She kept rubbing his neck, putting her hands all over him. We felt he was being seduced right in front of us. And I'm sorry. I'm the mother of four sons and I would have liked to have Pull the head off. Cream cheese fondant. No, I, I don't think. want. You got it. 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 The customers are stunned when they hear the lesson plans no longer involve math. Oh my God, this is better than sex. Better than sex. Even the suggestion of sex isn't enough to provoke a reaction. So our tutor decides to turn up the heat. You seem a little, a little tense. I really need to pass this test. Relax, if you relax. The ladies at the next table are speechless, but no intervention. Remember, remember I taught you that. Stop. There's people everywhere looking at us. What is wrong with you today? We tell our cougar predator to excuse herself from the table. And with that, bingo. The women now turn around and reach out to our student in need. I don't know what to do because she's my tutor and like she's going to be my teacher next year so my mom hired her but like she wants me to go back home and study at her house. So I don't think she's acting right. For an adult she shouldn't be acting that way. <laughs> Hi sweetie. Next it's the student's turn to head for the restroom. The ladies pretend to ignore the attractive blonde for 10 minutes until this. I'm sorry. Have you seen him? Did he go out the front door? He went to the back, right? You're embarrassing him and he's, he doesn't want to turn back out. Right? I'm sorry? You're embarrassing him and he went into the bathroom with his own I can't understand what I could have possibly been doing to embarrass him. I think I should take a survey. That was really good. Uh, excuse me. I'm just here teaching him. You need to touch him like that? Excuse me? I don't think you know what you're doing. Well, I'm just tutoring my student. That's all I'm doing. Oh, my and boy. trying to enjoy an afternoon here. Excuse me? In sex ed. In sex ed? No, in math, as a matter of fact. I heard a lot of math going on. Finally. Our young boy returns on, to the table. Come on, come on. We're going to finish this. 
Back in my place. Come on. But what will the ladies do when the tutor tries to take him home? Come on. I thought we're studying. Come on. Some of the customers um, try to on. cage yeah. this yeah. cougar. Sit down, Zach. Yeah. Sit down. Uh, Come on with me. Don't just ignore them. But they won't be ignored. They act as human shields, trying to protect the vulnerable student. The customer asks for her friend's cell phone to call the student's mother. Well, his mom is not coming. I'm driving him home, no, as a matter of fact. It's a, that, it'll be a whole day in hell before you drive him home. I'll tell you that right now. I'm calling 911 and we'll be calling. That's who he's going to take him home. You have to leave. I'll pay your bill. You have to go. go exactly. Come with me. I don't know what school you work at, but I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to find out and I'm going to report everything that went on. I think you should leave. It's time to come clean, calm down the cafe. Oh my God. I was trying to you on this, and I'm with, what would you do, the TV show? They're actors, they're okay. You put this close to your face, I'm going to tell you right now. What was going through your mind? That if that was my son, uh, I would want somebody to stick up for him. She was inappropriate. <laughs> Love knows no age, but I mean, you could tell that he did not want it. That's what this woman thought too. For her, the scene was all too personal. Well then, why don't you come to my place? You can take a nap if you need I don't, to. I don't want to go to your place. I, think, I don't think you should be going to your house. I'm an adult. He'll be with me. It'll be fine. But you are an adult, and I'm a teacher as well, but I never actually oh, nice. and touch my students. Your behavior is inappropriate. You shouldn't be touching a 15-year-old boy in that manner. What's inappropriate? <laughs> We're just studying together. Right, but I haven't seen any studying. But there's been a lot of stroking, a lot of touching, and I don't think he would be comfortable with it. I think he can speak for himself. You're in a position of authority, though, and he's worried about passing his test. Oh, he'll pass. He knows he'll pass. It's so sweet of you, though, to care so much. Well, a normal person would care in this kind of environment. <laughs> At times, you don't know who to trust and who not to trust. So you can either trust no one, which is scary, or you could be brave enough to try to trust someone. And a lot of times that tends to be a teacher, which is why it's horrible when teachers take advantage of that. Taking advantage of an underage student hit a sensitive nerve with many people at the cafe. I got so much fun. Look at this. Wait until you see. Look at this. A 15-year-old student and this older woman at a cafe. She's supposed to be his tutor. Do you think I'm pretty? But her flagrant advances make it clear to some onlookers that this is a cougar predator on the prowl. <laughs> and many customers aren't afraid to say so. Let's go. No, you are. The mother is coming in five minutes. He's not leaving with you. Do you understand? It's as simple as that. The tutor's conduct sparks a lot of outrage from people who say she went way over the line. What did you see? Oh, I saw a lot. I saw, you know, the grabbing of the shirt collar and just the touching. And it just really grossed me out because he looked so young. Hi. Hey. But what happens when the feelings between an older woman and an adolescent boy look mutual? Well, this time we asked our young actor to play along and be a willing participant. But the customers never ask questions or interfere. Oh my god, were you working out at camp? I did lots of push-ups. In fact, this man says the young student is living out a schoolboy's dream. It's kind of everybody's fantasy, you know, for a guy, young guy, why not? Well, I, you know, I wouldn't mind if my tutor did that to me, trying to take me home with her. <laughs> I have to be honest, I, I really didn't think he needed help. You would have liked to have been so lucky. Yes, I would call that lucky. When you were 15. When I was 15? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Cougar town for adolescents? It sure looks that way. When the boy thinks he's getting lucky, not a single man intervenes. And when he resists, a lot of men seem to think it's not their place to speak up. Take this man who discreetly writes a note to his wife. So, Don, you wrote a note to say she is seducing him. She takes her jacket off, and I said, you know, she's showing over him. And I said, he's, and he's scared. He seems like he's, he, he, he's, he's, he's a little, something's wrong with him. Now, as a man, why didn't you get involved? I, I was. But I, when I saw the woman get involved, woman on woman, it was a little easier for them to deal with it than me, me as a man. 
Let's finish setting at the beach. This man can't take his eyes off the boy. He keeps looking and staring. Just can't believe what he sees. Finally, he talks to a waitress, who's also one of our actors. It's like one of those teachers that go with the little kids in school. She's teaching them. She's supposed to be two of them. She's kissing them and embarrassing the hell out of them. No, I did it with just me that story. No, I did see that. No, I did see don't it. say that. My wife, my wife don't want me to talk to her. Oh, no? No, she thinks I got a big mouth. So he listens to his wife and does nothing. I know you were seething. You could see it in your eyes. What did you feel like doing? I felt like confronting her, going face to face with her. But my wife is always afraid that I would make a scene and that I tried to control myself as not to do that. Late afternoon, just as it seems that no man will rescue our student, this table of four takes notice. At first, they think our cougar is the boy's mother. They smile and steal glances of the sexy lady in the tight skirt. But then they realize an underaged boy might need help. When the predator steps away, they reach out a fatherly hand. She's 15. You're 15 years old? That's my tutor, and she just, she's supposed to be tutoring me because I'm in summer school for math. And like, I'm not... I think that was your mother the other day. I don't know what to do because like, I don't want her to... I need to pass math and if I can't, I'm going to fail. He'll help you. He's an international student. Sit here a minute with us. Yeah, sit with us. Should I get my books? Yeah, get your books. Yeah, buy your lunch. When our cougar returns, the guys are not afraid to lay down the law. Zach, let's, let's go over so to I, my place. I think I'm gonna, he's not getting up and call my mom. He's not going anywhere. He's staying here. He's a minor. You invited him over here. Right, to right. keep him safe. Keep him safe. To keep him safe. She wanted to take him out. No, it wasn't. No, gonna, we, wasn't. Gonna we weren't going to get up right away because it's a woman, but it wasn't going to happen. Together, they deliver an important message about protecting our children. We should be the people that stop this sort of behavior, because it's disgusting. And if this was a real case scenario, believe me, with the four of us, that child wouldn't leave. You just don't sit around idly by and watch somebody get hurt, no matter what it is. No matter what it is.